Catherine had been planning her wedding as long as a child could remember and wanted a dress that lived up to her expectations. Lace and tulle were two of her must-haves and so I got to work creating the dress of her dreams. Finding the right lace for Catherine wasn't easy, but after trying out several different options, Catherine chose a sparkly lace that would shimmer under the lights at her opera house wedding reception. Then, at the last fitting, Catherine decided she wanted to be more covered up for her church ceremony, and so we put together a lace bolero to complete her look. Catherine's final wedding dress has a sweetheart neckline with a dropped waist and layers of tulle on the skirt and the bodice is covered with sparkle applique lace. The back has a modified V with silk dupioli laid over top to give more coverage and a row of covered buttons. Her dress is finished with a handmade lace bolero. Emily created her dress for my Builder Bride line, which allows brides on a budget to have that custom dress experience. By using my basic dress shapes and add-on pieces, a bride can build herself a one-of-a-kind look. She fell in love with the first basic dress she tried on, the Coco Marie, and then we got to work adding Builder Bride pieces. I started by putting Emily in various belts to see how she liked the sparkle, and then I moved on to the lace. I tried her in the Katie Grace cover-up, a Chloe crop top, and the Francis fitted overlay. I even had her try on my pretty peplum. In the end, she was torn between the sparkle of the Gina Lee belt and the classic look of the Chloe crop top. She eventually chose the Chloe crop top and her wedding dress was complete. Emily's Coco Marie dress has a sweetheart neckline, princess seams, and a fit to flare shape. She finished it by adding a Chloe crop top in an open pattern lace. <laughs> 